Hello friends, I'm back at Ramada Resort with someone who is really very passionate about food. He's none other than the corporate chef as well as the food and beverage director of Ramada Resort, Mr. Ramu Butler, my all-time favorite. Welcome to the show, Mr. Ramu Butler. Welcome, How are Lina. you? I'm doing all right. Looking very different. <laughs> all it's a part of my uniform. <laughs> Great. So, chef, yep. what's your comment on a take like, say for example, if I say there is no love sincerer than the love for food? You know, food is all about love. Right. Love is all about food. Exactly. <laughs> what an amazing answer. <laughs> that would be a, like a really passionate answer, I would say. For me, food is something which actually I live for. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> no one can survey without that. So obviously exactly. you need to be that. So I've come here uh, to have some of your mouth-watering delicacies. And trust me, every time I come here, it just makes me come back here for more and more. So... What are you giving me first? Well, today I want to give something of an Indian touch. Okay. Okay, with little bit of fusion into it, and okay. this is Indian fusion. It's not, uh, you know, with Western fusion. Right. It is in in South, if you call it, it'll be like a rasam, but it is a Goan preparation. It is. Oh wow! Okay. It's called the rose, crab rose. Crab rose. Yeah. Okay, and okay. what does that mean? Like it, it is basically you can have it like a ras, like as a soup you can have. Okay. Otherwise, you can even have it with a rice. Oh, with rice. With okay, rice also. Ha, okay. So, what has gone into the preparation of the well, crab uh, the rice? Indian masalas mm -hmm. and a uh, little bit of tamarind water to it mm -hmm. and uh, crab which is roast crab, okay. crushed, okay. roasted crushed crab juice has gone into it. Wow, roasted crushed crab has gone into the making of this crab broth and as you all know, first of all soup are very healthy yes. and when it is crab soup, nothing to beat it because crab is such as you all know, it's a crustacean and the crab meat is very popular and versatile as such for its properties like it has got uh, properties such as anti-aging properties and not only that, it is the main source of vitamin A, B, C and B12 and apart from that, all of you would love the fact if I tell you, it is very low on saturated yes. fat. And uh, so Mr. Ramu, I want to ask you, how well have you garnished? I mean, it's amazingly garnished but what is the part and you know, how did you do it and how did you come up with such amazing ideas always? You know, for a soup, we can give different garnishes as this being a crab soup. Okay. I thought I used the entire part of the crab right. and only the claws I given it as a garnish. Wow, isn't it beautifully done? I think it's really amazing because it's just not about tasting food. Food is just not about tasting good. It's it's as I always mention, it's about the visual appeal that you get to it, the visual appeal as in the way it's garnished, the way it's presented, all this adds a lot, isn't it? I'm sure you agree to me as a chef. Definitely. <laughs> okay. So it's time for me to have this very healthy and nutritious crab rose. So this is like I can say crab rasam. Rasam also you can say. In okay. South it is almost similar to a rasam. And that's more or less the same masala. Yes, that masala is the same. Mm, absolutely right. It somewhat tastes like the rasam, but a little, a tinge of different masalas different that's masalas. gone into the making of it. And that is the USP of this particular crab moss. And trust me, people who love seafood, this is something a must try over here because the little bit of difference in the flavoring is the entire USP of this soup. Amazing. And um, I know what this is, but I would love you to give us more explanation <laughs> on what exactly this if is. You can tell what that is about by seeing it's a real content. No? Malaitika, right? Okay. But this is a little bit of fusion to it. Okay. It has a little bit peppery to it. The crushed pepper is added to it. Oh, okay. And a, with a pinch of pineapple. Pineapple? I'm sure that is your idea of yes. adding the pineapple to it because generally they don't serve it with a tinge of pineapple. Yes. I'll tell you the reason why I mm -hmm. need to add. See, as it is Malai Tikka will be, it is soft, mm -hmm. the meat is soft. If I add a pinch of uh, pineapple to it, it, it makes it even more softer. It will be melting in your mouth because a pineapple will break down the fibers. It makes it more softer. Oh wow, so that is a tip for all you out there. When you add pineapple, it makes the meat all the more softer and it's really juicy and secluded yes. when you have it, isn't it? Uh, one more thing, Mr. Ram, I wanted to ask you. 
where does this origin of this tikka come from? It's basically Indian cuisine, right? It is. It is a controversy. In fact, you know, yeah. if it was before partition, definitely it would have been a, both India and Pakistan. Right. Yes. But now, you know, it is more of you know Indianized as well. I would say it is a mix of both Indian and Pakistan. Okay, both mix of the both. kebab comes from there. Okay. It's all the nawabs who is to make this. Exactly, and when you have this itself, you get that rich feel. Yeah, it is rich. It you is get rich. transformed to a different era <laughs> when you have the tikkas, yes, and yes. especially murg tikka, and you know it's very juicy yes, and yes. very yummy. How different is this tikka from the normal tikkas that you know? Okay, the normal. I'm sure you've added your soul and yes, love into yes, this. Definitely. Apart from that, the, there are different kinds of tikkas mm -hmm. which you can make. But this particular tikka, it is with uh, cheese. You know, we had a cheese called a mascarpone cheese also. A little wow, bit of cheese, okay. hunkered. Oh, okay. Hunkered, then a pineapple. Okay. Then the Indian masala, the amchur powder. Everything. Okay. The color you can see. We, we I don't believe in adding any. Additives, never I yes, so far really I good, so yes, yeah. you cannot find any particular color, it is the natural color which has, it has got. Oh wow, that's really great. Little bit yellowish because of the pineapple and pineapple it should not be a ripe one, it should be a little bit raw. Raw, okay yeah. so that's another tip that you shouldn't add ripe pineapple, it should be the raw pineapple that should be added into it in order to make the tikka very very soft and juicy and succulent. And what are the... Uh, there are two uh, sauces to accompany with. Okay. One is the mint and coriander sauce. Mint and coriander sauce. The other one is again the pineapple sauce. Pineapple, sauce. pineapple and onions. Right. So, which one do you recommend to me to dip? The Bo both are equal for me. Okay, <laughs> both are equal. Both. <laughs> you can't decide because I both are equal. I don't want to discriminate both sauces. Both Fine. are equal. But I'll go in for the tried and tested recipe or should I go for the unique one? I think I'll, I'll try, you can try with the your pineapple. recipe. Yes. yes. So, here I go. The Malai Tikka. Dip into the sauce. Splendid. Trust me, chef. As you said, the little bit tinge of pineapple has really made the tikka yes. very, very soft and juicy. After the segment, I should be finishing the entire thing. I hope you don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> This is really amazing. The tikka in itself is very juicy. The best part about this is the tikka accompanied with this chutney, pineapple chutney, which is very, very different. And trust me, you're really going to love this and come back here for more. Well, I'm done with the malai tikka and I can see something very colorful over here. Yes, this is the desert for you. It is. Before I start, yeah. I want to have a sip of can this. Looks very colorful. Nice. What's this? Okay, it's called the green lagoon. You okay. can make with different flavors. This particular one is made with a peppermint. Okay. Peppermint flavor okay. with seven up. Right. It's amazing. The green lagoon. But uh, you know what? I'm a little angry with you, chef. You've taken my favorite color <laughs> and you you've given me one. this green. <laughs> Not Why a problem. You can spice? have this one as well. In fact, I that? haven't tried. Okay. This is with an almond cranberry. Sorry for taking the liberty. No problem. No problem. You can have it. What is this? It's with cranberry, almond. All syrup. Oh, okay, I can see all the shades of pink here. And different all colors. It's yeah. all because of the density of the uh, density juice of board the over here. Yeah. Okay. It's very nice. The color, the taste, yes. everything is amazing. Well, yeah, you were explaining about okay. this. I'm so now sorry for cutting. Next is your dessert. You know, mm -hmm. again, this is uh, it's all Indian. So okay. this also we made. It looks like a you know Western preparation, exactly. but it doesn't. It's it's a mango. It's basically a mango preparation, like a cheesecake. Right. Okay. okay. So how does this make it make it an Indian it, preparation? It is made with cheese, hunkered. Oh, okay. And mango. I'm sure this That's is your recipe, <laughs> yeah. right? Yes, I'm sure about it. It, it <laughs> might look like a Western dessert, but exactly. it's not a Western. It is a mango. And the top one, you can see, this is a mango, but okay. I've added a little bit of seaweed to it to get that jelliness. Okay, and how uh, how is seaweed very nutritious? It is, it is it very, very good. It is very yes. good. You know, I don't use gelatin for it. Instead of gelatin, I used a seaweed. So it has that uh, consistency like a gelatin. Oh, it's like a gelatin. Mm -hmm. And I uh, wanted to ask you, like, how is it a very easy procedure to make this cake? This is not that, that, that tough to it's make. It's not that tough. It is not that tough. I mean, like, no. if I really like it, I would want to know the recipe. Yeah. And I can easily make it at yeah, home? Yeah, it is very easy. It's not that easy, tough at it's all. And it's a, it's a mixture of the, the hunker, okay. cheese, 
and the flavor that is mango you can add any kind of flavor and sugar sugar because why this question is because i'm sure our viewers would be thinking the food is presented so well yes. and it looks you know it's very difficult to make and it cannot <laughs> be made at home but i just want to tell you mr ramu has really made it from his heart and i'm sure it's the love that has brought this outcome yes, and it yes, looks yes. so nice all for you to have oh wow it's really nice mango mascarpone mango. right you can call it as a cheesecake also mango this cheesecake yeah mango cheesecake wow. also mango yeah. cheesecake i just can't explain how yummy this is the way i'm taking the second spoon and eating it shows how yummy it is It's just beautiful, Chef. I'm not going to leave you without you telling me the recipe for this because I want to go try it out at home and probably give it to all my family members. It's, it's basically see, you you need to have hung curd. Okay. Okay, hung curd. Then you can use mascarpone cheese or okay. you can get even a cream cheese. Right. Thicken thicken cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Sugar to it. Mango. Mm -hmm. Mango pulp. You get the mango pulp cans. Right. Yes. You know, in my case, you know, we use. Fresh ones also, fresh, fresh ones. pulp okay. also. Uh -huh. yeah. Otherwise, you can use the mango pulp. Okay. You need to mix it well. Okay. Okay. All three, you need to mix it well and just put it in a bowl. In a bowl, you bowl, can put yes, it. Bowl, yes, yes. And just keep it in your fridge. That's about it. It gets set. Okay. This one, you need to add uh, with the mango syrup okay. pulp. Uh -huh. You need to add a little bit of uh, you know, seaweed. Seaweed, okay. Seaweed and little bit of sugar. If the sweetness is already there, you need not add. Add it. Uh, melted okay. sugar, you need to add. And the to seaweed that. is the one which you get. Yeah, you get it. Okay. You get it. You need to just melt it and pour it over. Right. And once you keep it again in the fridge, in any shape, it will you know, it'll it remain will as it is. You can just cut it. Cut it and So once it. this is done, you just pour on top of it and again leave it in the fridge. Then cut it. That's so it's very simple. To very make. simple, but uh, I should say it looks very delicious and it is indeed very delicious and amazing. And I would say a must try at home. Trust me, friends, you would really love it. Thank you very much, Mr. Ramu. It's my pleasure. It was a pleasure having you on show like time and again. And uh, I'm not leaving you alone. I shall be back soon again. You're Thank welcome. you so much, friends. It's time for me to say bye-bye to you in this segment. See you next time. So finally, we've come to the end of this segment of Good Life. And it's time to say goodbye to you. See you same time next week. Till then, be happy and keep those pearlies on.